Hiya guys, Artisan Dragon here with another action figure review. I haven't done one of these in a while, um, but I just thought I'd do this one because I was really excited about finally getting this one. Went through quite an ordeal to get it, but I finally got it, and let's get into it. Alright, so here's his box. It's Leonardo. It says right on the cover there. And there's some really nice images of Leonardo on the sides of the box. Sorry, I gotta do it like this, guys. On that side. I like this side. So if you have it posed on a shelf, have the box on the shelf, it just shows... A really nice picture of him. You can have it sideways. Looks really good. I just noticed that there's a sticker for the seller that sent me this on the side there. And on the back, it's a nice image of him with his bros. This image is a little, little pixelated, a little fuzzy, but oh well. And then, I'll have to move it further back here. Top of the box. Three nice portrait images. Different poses you can put them in, I guess. But I'll be the judge of that. Also, what was inside the box, the reason it's kind of empty in there. So notice there was this really cool backdrop in there. Check that out. Can't really see it very well. But, uh, there we go. It's got the sewer pipe and the ladder going into it. It's actually pretty cool, I have to say. For I don't know if all the turtles have a different, like, inner to the box, different background, or if they all have the same one. I don't have the others yet. Yet. <laughs> uh, I should never say that. Anyways, I need to stop collecting Ninja Turtles, guys. Seriously, I need help. <laughs> Alright, so we'll get into his accessories first. I'll just have him kind of chill over here. Here are his katana swords. Now, this one, I had opened this previously. And this one had broken. It, it snapped right when I went to put it in his hand. Like, it, it snapped like, like it wasn't even put together properly or something. I don't know. Like, it, it broke very quickly. So, I was distraught. But luckily I had some, some kind of glue. Probably should have gotten a, more of a clear gel glue. Because look at what happened. I, I only used a little bit of this, guys. And it, it did a weird thing here. <laughs> did a weird little bubble. But, oh well, you know, to each their own. I did what I could to fix it. I'm not planning on selling him probably ever. So, you know, I'll just keep him safe in his box. Unless I use them for something else. But anyways. These are really nice swords. They have some really nice details on the handles. So I really I really like the detail of his weapons. They're really nice. And second accessory. It's an extra bandana. Uh, the one he has on now... I guess it drapes over his left shoulder. And I guess if you put this one on, it goes over his right shoulder. I guess if you're into that. Changing the uh, swappable bandanas. <laughs> I, I don't... I'm not fully into that kind of stuff, guys. But anyways. Here's a little slice of pizza you came with. Looks like there's some olives and peppers and maybe... Maybe mushrooms on there. I don't know. Can't really tell, but looks vegetarian, <laughs> which I'm sure Leonardo would be. Not sure if that's really true, but you know, he's my favorite. 
All right, so here's the two extra hands he came with. So you can have his hands like straight out to his sides or whatever. I'll probably put these in um, before I put him back in his box. Because I kind of like these hands. Kind of neutral. Like, give me three. Woo! All right, enough of that. <laughs> Having too much fun. Okay, now for the big guy himself. There's his feet. <laughs> nah, I'm, I'm just kidding. I'll do this sideways so you can see. All right, this is his lovely, handsome face. Check out that sculpt. He looks exactly like him. Like, he looks like he could talk. Like, right now, with my hands pinching his head, it looks like he'd go, Ow! You know? <laughs> You can move his head up and down. And here's the bandana that apparently comes out, which you can just flip it like that. I but you can ah, oh sorry buddy. But yeah, check out the details on the shell. Sword sheaths. Spotting all over him. Very nice. I know my camera doesn't seem to want to focus. And uh, his belt. It's made to look, and it's very, made very well to look, like leather. But it's not. It seems to be a very thin plastic. Like a rubbery plastic. Which makes sense. I mean, they couldn't incorporate real leather into these. That, that would make them insanely expensive. More expensive than they already are now. Because I looked online and these are ranging from $50 to $80 a piece. I was lucky enough to get mine way cheaper than that. Um, well, this one in particular, the one I ordered from Amazon that I never got. I won't really get into that. But um, this one I got off of a, from a seller on eBay. And... Um, yeah, I'm very impressed because the one I ordered from Amazon never came. Um, yet it showed delivered and all that and all that nonsense. Um, so luckily I was able to get this one from eBay. And this one came a lot faster anyway. Alright, so here's his elbows. He has some really nice detailing on, like, his elbow pads and knee pads. Got, like, actual buckles going on on there. They don't come off, but they're there. It looks like they would, but they don't. And his... The wristbands actually look like they're tied on. And since his hands are interchangeable, I'll try to do that in a minute. I just love the details, like how incredibly, how it looks like leather, but it's not, <laughs> it gives the illusion that it is. And he has ball jointed feet, so you can move his feet side to side, front to back. Very nice. Um, the legs. You can make him do the splits, kind of. <laughs> not really. I wouldn't want to do that to him, honestly, because, you know. But yeah, I'm, he's very stiff, but that's given, you know, I haven't really messed with him all that much. I only opened him once before, so. All right. Yeah, he's got the right profile. Look at that. So cool. I just love how much like the movie character he really looks like I'm 
stunned. Like, because usually with movie figures, they don't really look like them all that much. But Nika has done such a good job on these kinds of figures. Um... Like my gremlin that I got, that that one's by Nika, and I love the details on that little guy. Um, he's kind of hanging out literally <laughs> in my room at the moment. All right, so let's uh, let's try to interchange the hands, shall we? Let's try doing this. Let's see if I can even do it without breaking him. Carefully. Oh, I don't want to break him, dude. <laughs> How do you do it? I've never tried to do it. Oh, it's so tight. Okay, I'm going to do this off camera, guys. <laughs> Woo! Oh, they go in easy, at least. There we go. Look at that. It's like, hey, what's going on, bruh? <laughs> Looks like he wants to shake hands. That's awesome. Well, maybe I'll leave the other one on just to give him some differentiality with his hands, right? And these should fit right in here. Is that right? I don't want to do this wrong. in there and there's his feet again <laughs> nice uh, nice shot there bud Let's see if I can tilt my camera up a little better there we go hey look at that he fits right in this room guys seriously check it out <laughs> nice. It's like he's going, come with me if you want to live. <laughs> I want to live with you, buddy. All right. Well, I think that's enough fun with this guy for now, guys. So I think uh, I might review one of my two-pack figures in my next video. So stay tuned for that. And uh, if you stayed with me through the whole video, thank you so much for watching. And have a great day. <laughs>